Hey, welcome back to the Game Closet, and this is part two of original Xbox exclusives trapped on the Xbox. Now, a quick heads up, in part one, I mistakenly included Dungeons & Dragons Heroes due to an error on my compatibility list. While this game is not playable on newer consoles, it can actually be played on the Xbox 360 with a factory hard drive. My apologies for the confusion. So, to make up for the last video being short just one game, this video will have six Xbox exclusives trapped on the original Xbox. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. Oh, and just like last time, I did a little something extra for the intro to the first game you'll see, so let's do it. Number six is Mech Assault. You ready? Hey, baby. <laughs> Thought we made again. I've got our orders. Your mission is to turn me on. The invasion still steps off as planned. <laughs> but the best part is that we get to go in first, just like old times. That's right, baby. <laughs> so our little team gets to make a covert landing outside the range of the existing guns. I love you. Mech Assault was born directly out of the Battletech tabletop gaming franchise and was the first foray into the video gaming world for the Battletech franchise universe. If you like mechs and explosions, this is right up your alley. They know we're here and they will be coming for us. That sucks. As a matter of fact, the first time I ever heard of this game, I was watching Metal Jesus Rocks and his good friend Drunken Master Paul play this game co-op many years ago. I was sold, and I bought both games immediately. You take control of a battle mech pilot and engage in various missions battling enemy forces and completing the objectives set before you. Mech Assault offers a campaign mode with a story and diverse missions, as well as a split-screen multiplayer mode for co-op and competitive battles that used to be available online also, but... Well, I'm sure that's been taken down a long time ago. As you progress through the game, you unlock new and more powerful battle mechs with unique weapons and capabilities. Battletech itself was a niche tabletop role-playing game, and Mech Assault did a great job of bridging the gap between the tabletop and video game audiences. Mech Assault has become a cherished original Xbox exclusive, and it's considered a staple in the OG Xbox library. Number five is Blood Wake. While you're only getting a taste of what Blood Wake has to offer, one thing you can take away visually is that it's just stunning for a 23-year-old game. There are many boats and vehicles you will encounter, but for the most part, you will be in control of speedboats, hydroplanes, and gunboats that will be firing chain guns, rocket launchers, torpedo launchers, and other weapons. The premise is simple. You are Shao Kai and your brother, Admiral Shao Lung, betrayed you and left you for dead. Nice guy, eh? A group of sea raiders known as the Shadow Clan rescued you and you are out for revenge. See? Good, wholesome fun designed for the whole family. Of course, you'll have to do this in a flooded post-apocalyptic world while balancing alliances and enemies on a razor as you attempt to survive this crazy world that is like Mad Max on water. If you don't have Blood Wake in your original Xbox library, you need this one. It's actually fairly common, and it shouldn't cost you more than $8 complete. Number four is Star Wars Obi-Wan. There were so many Star Wars games for the sixth generation consoles, but this exclusive Star Wars title is the only one that I could find for the Xbox that was not playable on the Series X or the Xbox 360. Now, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. It wouldn't be the first time I was wrong about something. If you like using the force to move and throw stuff, wielding lightsabers to send asshats to their doom, then this game is for you. Reprising the events of Episode 1, Star Wars Obi-Wan lets you wield a lightsaber and experience the adventure from the Jedi Master's perspective, battling droids and protecting a young Anakin Skywalker. And his master, Qui-Gon Jinn, appears from time to time to help the story along as well. Now, while this Star Wars game isn't my favorite on the original Xbox, it's actually a decent entry. The big however for me is that there are some stealth elements to this game that I just can't figure out. Yeah, that's right. I got so far and now I'm stuck. So it may be a few weeks before I can get past this point. I really am stuck. I'm not kidding you. I'm stuck. Okay, okay. Let's move on now. Number three is Mad Dash Racing. 
Son of a... Very well, then. Forget the pig. The winner will receive my magic scepter. Any other questions? Racing games are fun, right? Well, I sure have made plenty of videos with tons of racing hidden gems, but this game is unique in the grand scheme of things because there are no vehicles of any kind involved. Yes, you race on foot. There are three categories of racers. Dashers can gain boost powers, gliders can jump and glide, and bashers who break through objects, all with unique abilities, and there are many different characters you can choose from. Oh! And there are also boss characters, and they can have all kinds of characteristics that the dashers, bashers, and gliders can have. So is anyone going to ask, why are they racing? For the money, for the glory, and for the fun. Mostly for the money. So fun it is, especially if you're bringing three friends along for four-person split-screen co-op. Imagine that! A gaming console and a game from 23 years ago that can do split-screen co-op. Hmm, who can't do that today? <laughs> oh yeah. Hello. With wacky characters, four-player co-op, silly locations, and many unlockables, Mad Dash Racing is fun for the whole family. And I mean that literally. The whole family can play this game and you'll just enjoy yourselves. What more can you want from a game? And if you're going to have four players playing on your original Xbox, you can do no better than the Retro Fighters Hunter Controller, seen here. I finally got to use mine while making these videos, and I gotta tell you, they are second to none. They're even better than my Logitech wireless one from back in the day. They're most responsive, and these controllers are fantastic for the original Xbox, period. So if you're gonna have four people around, get four of these bad boys. Number two is cars. Jet skis, anyone? Yes, I'm tossing in another racing game, but this time it's on watercraft and it's fun as hell. Carve is easy and fun to play, but this game focuses on tricks which I stink at, so I just focus on the important thing. Winning, baby! Woo! So, Carve is fun. How does it look? Well, you're in luck, dear viewer. I just happened to capture some footage on this awesome water racer, but I did not get split-screen co-op footage. But you can play split-screen co-op if you have enough friends that like to come over and hang out with you. The mailman doesn't count as a friend. But how does it look? It looks great, wouldn't you agree? There are some great watercraft games on the PS2, but for the OG Xbox, this exclusive is very good, and for just a few bucks, you too can beg the mailman to play with you on a lonely Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> it isn't fair. Looks like it's gonna be... Number one is Unreal Championship. Unreal Championship brought the arena shooter to the Xbox in a big way, and you can play the original only on the original Xbox console. While you do have other options like Halo on Xbox, Unreal Championship does offer its own unique fighting flavor, and it's the console version of the Unreal Tournament that was widely available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now, as much as I love playing the original Halo's multiplayer death matches, I actually prefer this game to that one as it offers a massive selection of character classes with unique abilities and loadouts. Each player can find a character that suits them, which seems to be, well, it's more tailor-made in my opinion. Unreal Championship was highly regarded as an amazing online title for the OG Xbox, but alas, those Xbox Live days are long over. But Many OG Xbox games are getting a second chance at an online life thanks to the Insignia Online Project. You can check out 180 available titles at insignia.live. Unreal is quite inexpensive, and if the mailman gets sick of playing Carve with you, pop in Unreal Championship. You both will have a great time until the Uber driver arrives with your pizza and kicks both your asses. Well, there it is. That's six more OG Xbox titles that are trapped on the Xbox. Check back soon for more backward compatible OG Xbox titles on the Series X. Oh, hey, I, I gotta go. That's Jeff the Mailman, and, well, he used to be a wizard, but now he's a Zen Buddhist, and he's real chill now, so we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have some playtime. We'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like Game Closet's videos, hit that like button real quick. Please consider subscribing and sticking around for more videos. There's a ton of fun and funny stuff here for you, so click one of the boxes on screen and I'd be happy to show you more in Dr. Scott's Game Closet.